Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Today I'm going to go ahead and help you guys out with that background hum, that little electric in the background when you're using your Blue Yeti microphone and you're recording just your voice. Now this isn't going to so much apply if you're doing gaming and you have other you know, uh, noises such as game sounds and music and stuff like that because you're not going to notice that little hum in the background that you can record when you're recording your voice uh, for you know, during gameplay or whatever. This is only going to happen if you're just doing a silent recording of just your voice alone like I'm doing right now. I don't have any games going or anything like that. And what happened is I was starting to read a book uh, from my YouTube channel, a game on Steam where it's kind of an audio novel. And I was kind of reading it uh, for my channel. And I noticed that there was a, a background noise. And I'll show you what that was here in just a second. So the first thing you want to do, let me go ahead and first of all show you what this noise is I'm talking about. So you know if this is what you're trying to fix. Okay, let me go ahead and put here the 45-minute recording where I was recording just one chapter of a book uh, for my YouTube channel. And... Just take just a second here. Okay, so here's my 45 minute recordings. With all those blue lines here, that's pretty much my voice. Okay. But what I'm talking about here is right here at the end where I stop talking before I actually hit stop recording on Audacity. Here is the noise. You can kind of see a little, little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of a blue line there where it should just be, you know, completely a real thin line there. So right there, I'm not talking. That's just noise. Here, let me go ahead and play this for you and let you listen. Okay, do you hear that? If you don't hear that, turn up your speakers and you should hear a, a background noise. And so when I recorded my voice, you can kind of hear that in the background. And obviously there's nothing that sounds like that, you know, in my, in my computer room here. Okay. So that is the kind of noise that I want to remove. So, first of all, to make sure you're not getting that kind of noise, you want to look at your Blue Yeti microphone, and on the very back of it, there is a gain knob. Make sure you turn that gain knob all the way down so you're not picking up extra interference, okay? You're only going to really want that if you have somebody maybe far away uh, that you're trying to record or you're trying to record background noise. That's where you're going to use your gain. But if you're, like, you know, within 10 inches of your microphone and you're talking or whatever, you're not going to need to turn that gain up. Maybe if you have a really uh, silent voice, you might need it. But other than that, turn that gain all the way down. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and go to your control panel. Okay. And you want to go ahead and check out the audio devices. So you're going to go to your uh, control panel. And then you're going to go to, let me show you how I got here again. Control panel. And then you're going to go to hardware and sound. This is on Windows 7. And then under sound, you're going to go ahead and click manage audio devices. Here, under playback, you want to make sure that your speakers are selected for playback and that your Blue Yeti, wherever it's at here, uh, is disabled. And just to enable it, I mean to disable it, you're just going to right click on it and choose disable here from the options. Here I already have it disabled, so the only option I have is enable. So you want to make sure that your Blue Yeti is uh, disabled as a speaker. You don't know how much of an effect that's going to have, but you just really want to go ahead and make sure this stuff is not set. You want to make sure that the only recording device here uh, is set is your Blue Yeti microphone. You don't have any headsets or any other mics uh, on your computer uh, that could be bringing in sound. Also, you see here that the level of me talking right now, this is my Blue Yeti microphone and I'm talking right now. You see that I'm not way up here in the red as I record. That's fine. At least I'm not going to be picking up background noise uh, by having this, this low. Okay. So go and go ahead and click on your Blue Yeti microphone and go to properties. Here you're going to find your general uh, tab. Go to listen. Make sure you uncheck this listen to this device. You're not trying to listen to sounds through Blue Yeti. So if that is checked, uncheck that. It's probably not the case. But then go to levels and lower your uh, level on your microphone. Like mine was way up at 80 and that's why I was actually getting that background noise. So I lowered my microphone down to 30 and that should prevent the background noise so I don't have to edit it out later. So every computer is going to be a little bit different. But I think you want to make sure that you're uh, level here is below this little line for sure. Okay, so as long as you have it below this line, you should be good. And again, it's going to be a little bit different for everybody. Okay, so 
I'm going to go ahead and keep mine at 30, real close to 30. There we go. And then make sure you hit OK. So now, when I record now, I should be OK. I shouldn't get that background noise or at least that high level of background noise that I already got it. But now you've already recorded something. And, you know, maybe you had somebody at your house and you were doing a recording. Or maybe you've already recorded a two-hour event, whatever it is. And you don't want to have to go back and re-record that, whatever it is. You would just want to fix it. Well, you can fix it right in Audacity. Now, some of the other, other editing programs have their own audio removal uh, options where you can go in and do that. I'm not going to show you that today. I'm going to show you Audacity because I think that's what a lot of people use to record. If you're not using Audacity to record your voice with uh, your Blue Yeti, highly recommended because Audacity is a great tool. It's completely free. I'll provide a link down below where you can grab Audacity for free if you don't already have it. So now I've used Audacity to record all this and I just want to get rid of that background noise. So what you want to do is you're going to notice that by default everything's selected. Well what I want to do is I want to just find a section of my audio here, 45 minutes of audio as you see, I want to find a little spot where there's not even one little iota of my voice and I want to find just a little second, at least like a second of section where I can just pick up that background noise. So I'm going to go ahead and go right here to the end of mine. A lot of people are probably going to have a little bit at the end or maybe at the beginning you'll find a little section like that. If not, you might have to go ahead and zoom in on your audio and uh, you know see if you can find just a little split second of of background noise like for example I could you know zoom in right there and just catch a little second you want to make sure that your voice is not in this section at all so go ahead and highlight a little section as I've done here okay so once you got a little section selected go ahead and play it make sure that it is just go ahead and hit play make sure that all that is is the background noise you're trying to remove okay see so yeah, I hear that kind of see the levels here okay go ahead and stop it so that is exactly what I want to remove go to effect up here you're going to go to noise removal and the first step is to it you need to tell audacity what exactly you're trying to remove from your section so you need to create a noise profile notice down here I can't remove any kind of noise there's no OK is grayed out and preview is grayed out that's because I haven't recorded anything yet so you want to make sure that's why you want to make sure that all you have highlighted here is a section of noise it just has to be a second go ahead now and hit get noise profile should be really quick if you just select a, a split second or two of your noise and it, it's done now if you come back in here and you click effect and you go to noise removal you should see preview and OK so now uh, audacity knows what you're trying to remove but we're not just trying to remove the noise from that little highlighted section there so go ahead and cancel it here I want to remove the noise from everything that I've recorded so go ahead and highlight your recording from beginning to end as I've done here now go back into effect click noise profile or noise removal sorry and now that I already have my noise profile that I've already recorded I want to go ahead and remove that from my whole section of uh, audio I want to preview that make sure that it's not going to remove any of my noise though make sure it's going to be okay so let's go ahead and click preview it'll take just a few seconds and it'll play hello everybody here. welcome back to the heat Yay, it's still got my voice, and it looks, sounds like it's rec uh, got rid of that noise that we're talking about. So Audacity, like I say, this is even more powerful program. This is a better program to remove noise than even my PowerDirector program that I paid 80 bucks for. My PowerDirector program does not have this good of a noise removal system. It's simply a noise removal. You click the kind of noise and the level. You know, you increase it from 0 to 100 but it doesn't have such a specific ability to record part of the noise itself and remove just that. So Audacity, that's why I say Audacity is a great program. So now I've previewed it, I see that my voice is still there and it sounded better because I didn't hear that noise in the background there. So I want to go ahead and hit OK here and go ahead and remove the noise. Because I have 45 minutes here of audio, it's going to take just a couple of minutes. Okay, I've skipped some of it so that you didn't have to wait so long, uh, but it's going to depend on how long, you know, how fast your computer is and how much you have recording before uh, to know that. So now it's done. I'm going to go ahead and play my, I'm going to come to the middle where I'm actually talking. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. The sky, you return from your day in the city to your lodgings. Excellent. So it's removed that noise from my, uh, my entire length here. And now if you look here, you can even see this is what it should look like in the background when you're not talking. You should see just a really thin line here at the end. 
notice that has actually shrunk. So that's exactly what you want to do. So that's how you would remove noise if you already have a recording and you're trying to remove that uh, from your recording, you know, before you uh, do whatever you want to do with it. Okay? So if that, hopefully this has helped you guys remove the noise from an already recorded uh, piece of uh, recording that you know, you've recorded with your Blue Yeti to remove that noise. Obviously, you could do the same thing no matter what audio device that you've recorded with if you're needing to remove noise. So, but this particularly happens, it looks like it never happened with my old $20 microphone headset that I had. I never had that because that wasn't nearly the quality or the sensitive as my Blue Yeti is. So this seems like this has only, only happened since I bought my Blue Yeti. So uh, let me know if that has helped you guys out. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, you know, if you still need uh, help removing uh, background noise, for some reason that didn't work for you. Uh, if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments down below. Also, when you're recording a piece of, uh, when you're recording like this with your Blue Yeti and using Audacity to record, I would also make sure that you do quit talking for at least a few seconds, maybe at the end of your uh, session before you actually stop recording. Make sure that you leave just a few seconds where you are just recording any basic noise so you can remove that later. So hopefully that's helped somebody out. If so, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate your thumbs up on the video if this has helped you out. And then if you want more future videos, you want to be alerted to any other future videos. I do a lot of game reviews and stuff like that. Be sure you click the link in the upper right-hand corner to subscribe to me, and then you'll get notification every time I put out a new video, whatever it is. I do all kinds of random stuff. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. This has been Zaxter99. Take care, everybody.